Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these Christmas tree decorations out of old doors, hardware, and furniture legs. In case you missed it, I'm currently running a Christmas countdown showcasing handmade wooden crafts. So check out the other videos to see what else I'm building. The tools I used were a table saw, miter saw, circular saw, band saw, pin nailer, and brad nailer. Now, if you don't have all of those tools, it's okay. You can get away with one or several of those or a jigsaw. You're also going to need wood glue. So if you're interested in seeing how I built these, stick around and I'll show you how I did it. I began by choosing a spare door I had in my scrap material stash. This one was a bit dirty, so I gave it a good scrub, then determined how I wanted to cut it up. I saw something similar last fall at a local pumpkin patch, so I pulled up footage as inspiration. And as you can see, these trees ran the full length of the door, but I didn't want to make mine that large. After I cut the bottom portion, I found center at the top and tapered it down to the corner. After cutting that piece off, I just flipped it over and used it as a template for the other side. The main piece turned out perfectly, but one of the smaller sides was a little bit wonky, so I cleaned it up on my table saw. What I did was to put like a little eye hook on there so that I can hang these. Now this is the biggest piece, um, so it almost touches the ground, the other ones aren't so large but this will allow me to spray paint both sides it looks like an animal completely chewed up i hope it was an animal not a person trying to get out i hunted through my spray paint and i brought out things i wanted to kind of deviate a little bit from the red and green theme now i do have a green but it's more like a moss green and then i thought possibly like a purple and i'm debating between one of these i think that would be nice um, they're still going to be christmas trees but i just wanted to be a little bit different than all the other videos I've done that stuck to the red and green palette. So I think this first one I'm going to do in this moss green. I just wanna give it a nice light coat. I'm gonna go to the other side and then come back and give it a second coat. one side all right I'm gonna do this color it is called it's Krylon chalky finish waterfall Ooh. that's pretty and I know a lot of people do decorate with this turquoise color at Christmas time very pretty oh you know what I'm realizing there's a hinge I might add that back on I do have hardware I'm gonna be putting on this. I just gotta pick the right pieces. All right, and the third color I've chosen is this very light lavender or lilac. This is Valspar, what is the color? Lavender Lake is the color. And on a weird side note, this, not that you're supposed to sniff paint, but this paint actually has a really good smell. Next, I took trim that's a bit wider than the door and wrapped it around each tree. Some of the angles are very severe, so I used my band saw if I couldn't cut them on my miter saw. I also hunted through my box of hardware to embellish each door tree. And after preparing my pieces, I attached them with wood glue, tacked them into place with pin nails, and then secured them with brad nails. So now I'm taking a look through um, my scrap pile over here. I always save furniture, pieces, parts. That was a table leg, and I think that would make a really good trunk. So I think that is what I'll do next is uh, find center of the tree, uh, find center of that, and I'm going to attach the body of that to the trunk with wood dowels. that size 
And I'm gonna go a little bit bigger until I get to this width. Now I actually don't have to go that far in because I really wanna just go like halfway to that. So, and that this is gonna be the next one. I'm gonna set my depth at this point and I'm gonna use the help of painter's tape. Well, this isn't very scientific, but I wanna go about halfway in that dowel. So I'm gonna put my painter's tape and mark it like right about there. Oof. I had thought about doing some type of a hook because like what would make sense in the middle of this door? Um, I can't put like a doorknob. So I thought about doing a hook, but that's just kind of too modern for me. Found this drawer pool and it kind of looks like a door knocker. So I'm going to, at least while I have it flat, um, probably mount it right about there. Yeah, so I just need one hole right through the middle. I'm gonna do that now too. I think the best thing to do right now is to let that glue dry. It's gonna drip down in that dowel and after it's dry, it should be nice and stable. I'm gonna move on to the other ones and get the trim work done and then come back to this. Okay, I'm now at the point of adding the feet to the second door tree. And because this is offset, that is not actually gonna be in the middle. I just kind of put it on my table and moved it until it was steady. So I'm gonna mark it and drill my dowel hole and then attach it. But here is number two. And then I'll start working on number three, which is sitting over here. And I might paint, silver would be neat because that's silver. I think I'm gonna spray that before I attach it. But that is my spacing and that is my reasoning. <laughs> I'm on this third one and I'm actually gonna do the trim a little bit differently. I'm gonna use a circular saw. I've been taking these crazy cuts um, that I couldn't do on a miter saw down in my basement doing a band saw, so that's why I don't have it on camera. You could also use a jigsaw or whatever you have on hand. You don't have to do what I'm doing exactly. This is just more for inspiration. So, all right, number three, here we go. I'm coming down the home stretch that is attached and I'm thinking this needs something. So I'm gonna take this and spray paint it. I think I'm gonna do a complimentary color. I like that this kind of has a little patina. So maybe I'll do that green. I think that would complement that nicely and still be a Christmas color. So to attach that, I'm gonna use a hole saw and just make a little bit of a hole in it. I don't have to go real deep. I'll probably have to like make a hole and like chisel, but that's next step. I'm going to attach that. What I think I'm gonna do just to be cautious, this is standing fine on its own, but I don't want it to be easily knocked down if somebody buys it. So what I'm gonna do, I have some trim that's the same wood here, and I'm just gonna build out this base a little bit so that it's flat, and then maybe put it on a block and then call it a day. I think it'll be fine and won't fall over. I 
I hope this video was helpful. If you aren't already, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and also look me up. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.